and welcome to your favorite show, Identities Umhlobo Shatiri, your show that comes every week to talk about our social, economic, and political issues. November is a month that is sacred across the world. We discuss 16 days of activism. This is a time where we talk about uh, the violence against women and girls, and we are hoping that you take this um, period with us and we learn more about violence against girls and women. To discuss this important topic today, we are so lucky to have Ambassador Sophia Kaltop, mm -hmm. uh, the Ambassador of Sweden to Zimbabwe. Welcome, Ambassador, to the show. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm so, I'm so excited, Ambassador, to host you today, uh, particularly because I'm so passionate about women's mm -hmm. leadership. And what a time to have you in the studio mm. and on identities as we talk about gender-based violence against women. And I know that Sweden has been one of the leading uh, countries in terms mm. of promoting uh, feminism, in terms of promoting women's economic empowerment, mm. women's leadership, uh, and promoting a fight against gender-based mm. violence. But I want to know about you first, mm. the leader, uh, Ambassador Sophia Kaltop. When did you start your leadership journey? I was, uh, I've been very lucky because I was born and raised in a country, Sweden, which has um, since a long time a very strong policy towards gender equality starting at a very early age. Nice. So already when I grew up in my primary school in, um, in Sweden outside Stockholm, I was taught about uh, gender equality, about mm. uh, boys and girls having the same opportunities. And uh, throughout my upbringing, uh, it has never been a doubt that me as a woman have the same opportunities and chances to, to, uh, to advance and to become a leader as, uh, as um, my fellow uh, boys' uh, friends. Of course, I also, I grew up in a family with, uh, um, uh, where uh, uh, gender equality was promoted. Uh, my father was very interested in me uh, studying and uh, nice. um, exploring my opportunities and possibilities. So it's also something that I have with me uh, uh, since my early childhood that uh, as a girl or as a woman I had the same opportunities and the same chances to excel and to advance uh, as anybody else. So. So I'm very fortunate and I thank my, uh, my country but also my family mm. for uh, giving me that very uh, strong and positive uh, upbringing. Wow, as you're just talking, I'm, I'm wowed right now. And as I mentioned earlier on that the government of Sweden mm. has a feminist, international feminist policy mm. uh, that's promoting women empowerment. Uh, I want to probably know that, uh, I want to further ask, um, you mentioned that you are lucky to, to have been born in Sweden where mm. gender equality is already promoted. What is the proportion of women in leadership, mm. be it in government, mm. be it in um, business as well, mm. in Sweden? Mm. So the Swedish government is an uh, um, equal government. So we have 50% women, 50% wow. uh, men, more or less. And also in the Swedish uh, parliament, we have uh, one of the highest... Uh, percentages of women in the world. It's around 42-43 percent wow. of Swedish parliamentarians that are women. So I think throughout Swedish society uh, there are very strong female uh, role models. In terms of business leaders, um, the progress uh, has been a bit slow. But this is an issue that is discussed a lot, how we can increase uh -huh. also, um, also leadership of women in business. And there are some very strong, uh, uh, strong women who are moving ahead and uh, that assume very important uh, leadership roles. For example, one of the largest Swedish uh, banks had a, uh, had a female um, uh, CEO for a very, very long time. So, so this is an issue that is very much, uh, much uh, alive. And uh, the, of course, the basic thought behind all this is that you cannot advance a society in any way, be uh -huh. it economic, social or cultural, without uh, including half of the population, because actually women are a little bit more than half of the population in every country. So, so that is the very simple but important uh, thinking behind this um, equality uh, policy that is uh, very much part of Swedish society in all uh, aspects. So would it be true that every woman in Sweden is interested in becoming a leader? 
that is a very good question because of course uh, leadership is uh, for me very much about uh, human qualities and qualifications and I don't think not uh, not among the men everyone would like to be a leader either mm. uh, but I would hope that uh, the women in Sweden that uh, aspire uh, to be a leader uh, have the same opportunities and feel as empowered as um, men and boys in Sweden that are aspired to become leaders. Yeah, I, I think that is, you raised so much poignant points mm -hmm. to say it's not every man who wants to be a leader. No. Um, and also that should women want to be leaders, mm -hmm. uh, they also should have opportunities mm -hmm. to be leaders. And I, I, I find that very profound, especially looking at our own uh, um, at, at our own Zimbabwe, where sometimes girls struggle to have opportunities. Mm -hmm. So, um, but how has been the journey for you? Because as far as Sweden is concerned, yes, it's mm -hmm. easy, but you're a global leader. Mm -hmm. How has been that journey for you? Mm -hmm. Of course, when I came to Zimbabwe uh, as a Swedish ambassador two years ago, uh, it, um, I was struck by the differences and, and uh, uh, that uh, Sweden is particular in the sense that we have many strong women. But what I have found here, which uh, has been extremely helpful, is that uh, I have a lot of female ambassadorial colleagues right. and we have a network, we meet and we discuss issues uh, among female ambassadors. But I also met so many strong, inspiring Zimbabwean women leaders in all fields in business in politics and in, in in the cultural sphere and that's been really inspiring for me to see those strong uh, Zimbabwean women leaders who are uh, from where they are here in Zimbabwe trying to 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 uh, to acquire positions of responsibility and leadership and 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 thus uh, help in the development of, of this uh, country so uh, it's been really interesting right. and inspirational <laughs> yeah Okay, so that's, that's quite interesting. Um, and you've been in Zimbabwe, you came in when? In September 2016. Amazing. Mm. So that you've been with us mm. through a lot of changes. Mm. 2016, economically things got tough. And then 2017, we got a, um, a transition talk, mm. so to speak. How, have, how, how has been that experience for you in Zimbabwe? It's been an enormous privilege to be part of, of, uh, of, uh, of this uh, transition in Zimbabwe. Sweden has a very long history of friendship with Zimbabwe and the Zimbabwean people. We were among the first that supported the independence struggle in the 60s and mm. the 70s and we have since independence in 1980 uh, been very actively involved in many different spheres. So of course to represent my country and the long history of friendship between our countries in this very historic time in Zimbabwe it's been a uh, it's, it is actually fascinating because I think it's, uh, we are still, of course, in transition and there are many right. issues that are now being developed. So, so it's, it's a huge privilege and I, I hope that I can contribute with some of the um, ideas and views that we as Sweden have when it comes to how to develop a society and at this very critical juncture in the history of Zimbabwe to, to be helpful. Uh, in the way that uh, that we can, then of course it's uh, it's up to the Zimbabweans to to uh, to do what you want out of your country. But but it's right. a great privilege to be here and to to be able to assist in the way we can. I am going to follow up on that, Ambassador. Mm -hmm. um, and after the break, so viewers, you are hearing this inspiring uh, conversation I'm having with Ambassador Sofia Kaltop uh, from the Sweden Embassy. And we're going to follow up in this discussion after the break. So don't you go away, stay with us. <laughs> 